everybody this is sandra and today i am making pumpkin pie spice syrup and it's from caroline's cooking i did get this off of the internet okay very simple very very simple basically it's mostly a dump and go as a lot of our recipes are um so far i've already started heating up my water but let me go through the basic recipe. So y'all know I'm making more than what I'm supposed to make, right? I'm always going to do a little bit more. So anyway, but the ingredients are one half cup of water, one fourth cup of brown sugar, one fourth cup of sugar, you know, white sugar, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of ground ginger, one fourth teaspoon of ground cloves, one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg, one eighth teaspoon of cardamom, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. So basically right now all I'm doing is heating up my water and I'm gonna add my sugars, both sugars, to the pot. And pretty much just gonna let them dissolve. So I get, that's why I got the plastic spoon, because, you know, metal makes too much noise. But anyway, so I'm going to stir this probably about three minutes. Let me put my timer on for three minutes. Okay, normally I really wouldn't do that, but because I'm telling y'all, I try to tell, teach correctly, even if I don't always do correctly. Yeah. But anyway, I bring you back once this is dissolved, okay? Because you know this is gonna be kind of boring. Just watch. Back in a minute. Well, a few seconds to you. Okay, you guys, I just got a few more seconds to go. And you see how it becomes very translucent, you know. Anyway, it does what it does. Okay. So the timer's gonna go off in just a second. And I didn't mean a second. <laughs> okay. So now, after the sugar has completely dissolved, then I'm going to add in everything else. Okay. You see, I put in a measuring cup, but I just grabbed whatever I had. Okay. Let me get all my spices. And then my pumpkin. Ooh, it smells good. Put in my vanilla. You know I'm doubling the recipe. Okay. And we're just going to mix it again. And after we mix everything up, we're just going to let it um, simmer again, stirring constantly. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a vigorous stir, but, you know, get everything incorporated for another three minutes. So once I got it complete, well, pretty much mixed. See, I'm seeing some more, um, still seeing pumpkin bits. So, I'm going to set the timer again for another three minutes. And when we come back, it's going to be pretty much done. And also, well, while I'm looking at the recipe, it says, because this is not making sense to me, maybe I'm reading it incorrectly. Um, it said this is supposed to make, well, it says, it says servings five. Let me show you. It says serving five makes a little over one fourth cup. Now I'm like, okay, if it's one half cup of water, and you add other stuff to it, how's it gonna be one fourth a cup? Or are they saying it's five one fourth cups, which makes it a, um, a cup and a fourth? 
Is that what it's saying? I don't know. But anyway, so like I said, I double the recipe. But, uh, anyway, anyway, um, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, my timer is going off again for that second batch of three minutes. Second time of three minutes, not batch, whatever. So, you see what it looks like now. It's kind of thick, obviously. Um, well, not really thick, thick, but okay. So, now it's pretty much done, but you need to let it cool at least until, to room temperature. And then we're going to strain it into a jar. So I will come back again when it's cooled down some, and we're going to strain it because um, it may have some solids in it. So that's the purpose of straining it. You don't have to strain it if you don't want to. You can keep it just like this. That's perfectly fine. But anyway, like I said, it's going to be back. I'll be back in several minutes now, but it's going to be momentarily to you. All right. Okay, everybody, I've cooked. It is cooled down some, but I don't know if you see it or not. See those bits and stuff? I guess that's why they want you to strain it. You don't, Like I said, you don't have to, but I'm going to go ahead and strain it. But I have noticed it is a little bit thicker. You see how it's coats the spoon? Now, how much thicker it's going to get? I don't know. But I did taste it, and um, it has a very strong pumpkin, pumpkin spice flavor, which I like, okay? But um, once I get it strained, I'm going to come back and let you see the finished product. Okay, everybody, I'm done. And I end up with almost a paint, which is pretty much about one and a half uh, cups. And remember, I doubled the recipe, okay? So, um, so I did strain. Let me get my pot. Let me show you. When I get it. So it was worth straining it, I guess. You know, if you're going to give away as gifts. Um, but for home, I probably wouldn't have done that. But, you know, like I said, I understand. It, it does make a uh, better presentation when you strain it. But, like I said, it is so good. But, and um, guess what's going in my coffee tomorrow morning? That stuff right there. Now, Tanya's the one that loves pumpkin so much. But, that's going to my coffee. But it would be good as well with um, you no know, topping for ice cream or desserts or something like that. Um, but like I said, it's going to my coffee, which is why I picked the recipe anyway. <laughs> and also, you notice I have a plastic lid on it. You know, normally I can stuff, but I didn't see where this was safe for canning. Um, or I didn't see a canning recipe for it. So I'll be putting this in the refrigerator. And um, it didn't say how long it should last, be good for. But I'm guessing maybe about four to six weeks. No more than six weeks. Don't know. But it'll be gone before then. Because, yeah, that's good. But anyway, <laughs> try it, y'all. Um, if you uh, love pumpkin, like pumpkin, like Tanya loves pumpkin. And the other, the um, creamers that I've gotten out of the store, no comparison. This is good. So try it. Anyway, see you next time.